Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at the what if analysis in Excel. I would say the powerful what if analysis in Excel, specifically illustrating the gold seek feature. This topic is covered in introduction to data analytics and accounting or simply a data analytics course. Auditing, you can use this as well as managerial accounting. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,700 plus accounting, auditing, finance, and tax lectures, as well as Excel tutorial. This is a list of all the courses that I cover. If you like my recording, please like them, share them, subscribe to the channel. If it helps you, it means it might help other people. So share the wealth, connect with me on Instagram and on my website, farhatlectures.com. You will find additional resources to supplement your CPA exam, your CMA exam, your enrolled agent exam, as well as all your accounting course. So to illustrate this concept, I'm going to be using this toy, which is my son's favorite toy. His name is Roy. And let's assume I can manufacture Roy and sell it to retailers for $10 a piece. Right now I have orders of 3000 unit that I can sell. My variable cost is 575. Variable cost means to manufacture this, this unit. I need the plastic pieces, the screws, this black piece here. So I need to buy them. And altogether they cost me $5 and 75 cent. In addition to that, I need machinery and a place to operate, which can be a fixed cost, a cost of 140,000 if I went into, into this investment. So the question is how many units? Let's assume I want to know how many units I need to sell to break even. And hopefully you guys remember this concept from the break even analysis. If not, you know, remember the formula, we have the selling price minus variable cost equal to the contribution margin minus the fixed cost equal to the net profit or net income. So this is this we're going to be using this formula. We have the selling price. We have the variable cost. We could figure out the contribution margin. We have the fixed cost. Anyway, you don't have to worry about this just in case you remember in accounting. If not, go to my cost and managerial accounting course. So first, let's compute my variable cost. So my variable cost is how many units I sell times the variable cost per unit. So here I'm assuming 3,000 unit, and uh, it's going to be $5.75 variable cost. Now, my fixed cost is 140, so those are my cost, my variable and my fixed. Now I can find my total cost. Well, my total cost is my variable plus my fixed. Those are my total cost, B5 plus B6. That's my total cost. And my revenue is how many units I can sell times the selling price. Those are the formulas. And my profit or net income or net loss is my sales revenue minus my total cost, which is a negative 127,250. So obviously I should not go into this business because there is no way with selling 3000 unit, I can make any profit. Actually, I am at a loss. Now what I want to find out is how many units do I need to sell to break even? So simply put, I'm looking for the break even point. In other words, the break-even point, when is my net income equal to zero? That's your break-even point. And let's assume I cannot change anything from my cost. So my fixed cost is fixed. My variable cost is variable. What I can change is my unit. So what do I do? How do I run this analysis to find out how many units I need to sell? Well, I can go to this feature in Excel called Data, What If Analysis, and Goal Seek. And I click on Goal Seek. It's going to tell me which cell do you want to set. So wh what, what answer are you looking for? What I'm looking for this cell, cell B9, I already highlighted. So notice I already highlighted cell B10. And I want the value in this to be zero. Zero means I make no profit. I make no, uh, no profit and I have no loss. By changing which cell? Well, I can only control the units that I can sell. If I increase my units, how many units do I need to increase to make sure my net income equal to zero? So I click on by changing cell B3 and I click on OK and it's going to perform the computation and it seems I need to sell 32,941 units. Let's make it 42 because I cannot sell 41.18. So it seems I need to sell approximately 32,942,000 units in order to break even. Now I can run the math for you through this form, through the calculation, like I can run the math here, but I won't. You can, you can prove it for yourself if you want to. Now let's assume I cannot sell those 32,000 units. So what I can, what I can do is I will try to change. Let's assume I can sell only 25,000 units. 
If I can sell only 25,000 units, I am at a loss of 33,750. Now, what can I do? Well, maybe I can buy a different pieces rather than my supplier right now is sh shipping the product, shipping the pieces at $5.75. Maybe I will try to find another supplier at a cheaper rate. So at what rate do I need to do so? At what at what price can I function and have a no no profit and no loss? I'm going to go back to data. What if analysis goal seek? Again, I'm going to set my goal to zero. My 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 uh, my B9 to zero because I just want to see at what point I break even by changing the cell, by changing my variable cost. So let's assume let's assume if I can find a supplier, if I can only sell 25,000 units, what supplier I can find that will give me no profit and no loss? I need someone that's willing to sell me the variable units, the variable cost at four dollars and forty cents. Well, let's assume I can't find anyone. Now, maybe I can do something about my fixed cost. If I can sell 25,000 units, can I cut cut out, reduce some, some of my fixed cost? I will do the same thing. I go to the gold seek. I go to gold seek, set my income to zero, and changing the fixed cost. So how much do I need to reduce my fixed cost? I would I would need to reduce my fixed cost to 106,250. Okay? Now again, the last scenario I'm going to be uh, doing is, can I raise my selling price from $10 to something else to break even? Well, I can do what if gold seek set my profit to zero by changing my selling price. Well, if I can charge if I can charge eleven dollars and thirty five cent selling twenty five thousand unit, I can break even. Now, bear in mind. Let me go back to twenty five thousand unit. Now, bear in mind, it doesn't have to be break even. I can set the value. For example, if I want to make fifty five thousand dollar in profit. By changing, then I can change something else. I can change my selling price. I can change my variable cost. I'm sorry, variable cost per unit. I can change anything. Okay, if I want to make 55000 in profit, how much do I need to, to, to get my variable cost down to? It's going to be down to $2.20. I will get my, I will get this to 55000 So on and so forth. So this is how it works in the gold seek. So notice you can play with this. And use simple scenario first, something that you could relate to. Then you could use this in your own work uh, to to use this powerful tool to help you make the session. If you, as always, I would like to remind you to like this recording and visit my website, farhatlectures.com, especially if you're an accounting student looking for additional resources to pass your certification, pass your accounting uh, courses. Uh, education is a lifetime investment. Make sure you invest in your education wisely because it's going to pay dividend for years. Good luck and stay safe, especially these to those coronavirus days.